Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making this cute little snowman. I'll be using a number four worsted weight yarn, a 4.25 millimeter hook, and then 10 millimeter safety eyes. Now I have tested him out in the blanket yarn and to be honest, the more I add to him, the better he looks. But he is so stuffed out at the sides to get this shape. This might not be the best pattern to follow to increase the size in blanket yarn. But I'll let you guys make that decision for yourselves. And if you really want to switch it up, you can make a little coal man. And this guy was actually inspired by one of my viewers who sent me a photo of um, the voodoo doll they made using my pattern only it was done all in black with white stitches and I loved it so so much I, I was making these snowmen and I thought why not make a snowman like that too and I did paint his little eyeballs white with nail polish um, I'm not sure if it was a smart decision or not. You will need a lot of coats and make sure you cure them for quite a while in between coats because I didn't. And when I went to push these eyes in, I left little fingerprint marks in them. And there's no top coat, so I'm not 100% sure if they will last if they get scratched or banged around. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you. And I am also providing a drop down at the top of the screen for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along with. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Okay, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. All right, so you can begin any way you prefer. Um, the magic ring, chaining two, um, just as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. And I begin by folding over my yarn, making a knot with a loop on the end as if you're gonna make a chain. And then I insert my hook, grab my yarn, pull through and chain one and that doesn't count as a stitch that just attaches my yarn to my loop and if you are trying this out in the plush yarn um, the first two rows are going to be a little bit different so the number four weight yarn instructions I will put on this side and the number six weight yarn I will put over on this side and then on row three we'll all be doing the exact same um, pattern. So for round one, we are going to put six single crochets into the loop. And make sure you're going over your tail. So one, two, three, four, five and six grab a stitch marker if you're using one and for row two you're going to do six increases so that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around so increase one and two whoops increase three and four, increase, five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and ten, and our last increase, 
11 and 12. Okay, now we should all be on the exact same rows. Row number three, you're going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, increase, two and three. And then just repeat that around. Four, increase, five and six. Seven, increase, eight and nine. Ten, increase, eleven and twelve. Oops, thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen. 16, 17, and 18 for our last increase. Row four, we're going to do two single crochets, an increase, and repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, increase, three and four. And repeat that again, five, six, increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and our last increase, 23 and 24. Rows five to eight are just going to be 24 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do them consecutively, but I'm going to split them in two. So I'm going to do two rows of 48. Then I'm going to start at zero and do two rows of 48 again to get my four rows of 24. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and I'm going to flip my marker because that's my first row of four done, and I'm going to keep on counting. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 
45, 46, 47, 48, and I'm going to flip my marker. That's my second row, and I'm going to start back at zero to do my last two rows of my four rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. That was our third row. And one more row to go and I'm going to keep on counting. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. Row nine, we are going to do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, two, and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and a decrease for eighteen. Row 10, we're going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. One and a decrease for two, three, decrease for four, five, decrease for six, Seven, decrease for eight, nine, decrease for ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Row eleven, you're going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, increase, two and three, four, 
increase five and six, seven, increase eight and nine, ten, increase eleven and twelve. 13, increase 14 and 15, 16, and an increase 17 and 18. Row 12, you're going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four. Five, six, increase, seven and eight. Nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve. 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Row 13, we are going to do three single crochets and an increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. 1, 2, 3, and an increase, 4 and 5. 6, 7, 8, and an increase, 9 and 10, 11, 12, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15. 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, oops, I did miss a 27 again, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. All right, we're going to put the eyes in now, and it doesn't really matter where um, you put them horizontally. What I like to do is just make sure where my stitch marker is the back. So I'll have the front facing me and you're going to want to go six rows down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just under there between row six and seven, stick your eye in and take your second eye and you're going to go over four holes from where you put that one in. So one, two, three, four. So you should have about three holes in between your eyes if you're doing it my way and if you're happy with how they are, put the backs on. And then we will continue on with the rest of the body.
Okay. Rose um, 14 to 18 are going to be 30 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do that whole section as one consecutive amount. So 5 times 30 is 150. So I'm going to go to 150 and flip my marker every time I hit a set of 30 to get my 5 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I'm going to flip my marker and keep on counting. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, and I'm going to flip my marker, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. And I, I thought I counted that stitch twice, so that's actually 90 for me as well. So I flip my marker, keep on counting. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 
99, 100, and I'm going to go back to 0 instead of counting 100 and whatever. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to flip my marker, and this should be our last row. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So that's your five rows of 30. Row 19, you are going to do three single crochets, a one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a decrease for sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. Row 20, you're going to do two single crochets and a decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, two, and a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six. Seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. All right, let's put some stuffing in here now before we close it up. And if you wanna use um, little six millimeter safety eyes for buttons, instead of using thread, like I am in this tutorial, you wanna put them in now as well. All right, so when you're doing the head, you want it fairly firm um, and kind of push it out to the sides a bit. Especially if you're doing the plush yarn, you're going to really have to pack that in there in the sides. So he's a little more stout and tall, unless you want a tall little guy. Which I might put all that in. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's good enough, I think. Don't put so much in that you are splitting your stitches, though. You don't want to see that stuffing underneath. And be especially careful if you are using a darker color. Okay, I'm going to do the body now. And just make up your mind if you want that firm too or a little more squishy. I'm kind of a bit in between. I'm just going to stuff it lightly now so I have lots of room to close. And then I'm going to put a little extra stuffing in at the end. For row 21, we want him ha to have a bit of a flatter bottom. So we're going to go in the back loops. And if you've never gone in the back loops, when you normally crochet, you're going to go under those two Vs with your hook. For the back loop only, you're going to go in between those two Vs and out the back. And then you're going to have a little line across the outside. Okay, so for row 21 in the back loops, um, you're going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So down in between those V's, one, and a decrease, two, and then three in the next stitch. And then a decrease for four, five, decrease for six, seven, decrease for eight. nine, decrease for 10, eleven, and a decrease oops for 12. Add a little bit of stuffing if you need to right here. And again, remember you are kind of pushing it out to the sides in the middle. So you have a flat bottom and then kind of a round um, bottom. I mean sides, body. <laughs> That's probably lots. So you want him to kind of look like this. So he's round here, round here, and then he's gonna be flat on the bottom. And for row 22, you're just going to do six decreases all the way around. And you're going back normally under both sides of that V. So one decrease, two decrease, three decrease, four decrease. 
five decreases and your last one six decreases then you are going to slip stitch into the next stitch tie that off and cut your thread keeping in mind whether you want to bring that all the way up and turn this into a keychain with your um, extra piece of tail or if you're just going out the back it doesn't have to be too long just long enough to um, close it up and put a little bit in so grab your darning needle and you're going to thread that on Um, I'm actually going to take my stitch marker out so it's not in my way. And then you're just going to weave in and out of these top loops of your last row. You should have go in about five or six times, depending on how far you want to go to your where you tied off. And then you're just going to pull that nice and tight to close that up. And then just pick a stitch right close and make your knot. Temporarily, I am going to put my inside and out the top just so you can see what it's like if you end up wanting that to be a hanger. And doing it this way, also, you can bring this in so it has a much flatter bottom if you overstuffed it a bit. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do the arms. So grab your twig color and we're gonna be making a chain. So you're gonna fold your yarn over, make your knot with the loop on the end, leaving a bit of a tail for tying it on. And you are going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then going in the second chain from the hook, not the one on your hook. And then this is your first one. This will be your second one. You're going to slip stitch two times. One, two. Now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to slip stitch all the way down to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're just going to tie that off, leaving again enough of a tail to tie that onto your snowman. So it should look like this. What? Now let's make the second one. So leave your tail, make your knot with the loop on the end. Insert your hook and chain seven. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do your two slip stitches starting in the second chain from the hook. One, two, chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tie off and leave your tail. Grab your darning needle again. Decide what side um, you want on top. And I want this side on top, which seems a little bit longer. So I'm going to take that thread. And we are going to sew it around about row 13. So starting at your loop where you started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and this is row 13. So I'm going to go in between rows 12 and 13, and you don't have to go where I go. And I'm going to go kind of right, if I have looking at the side, kind of right in the center. And I'm just going to come out back one stitch. And you're going to do that with the bottom string, but you're going to go on the other side of row 13. So you'll be between rows 13 and 14, and you're going to come out in the same place that you just came out with the other thread. Pull them so that the knots um, where you chained and, and you tied off kind of go into the inside of his body. And then you're going to tie that once or twice. I'm going to do twice, nice and tight. Then get both your threads um, onto the, your needle again. And you're just going to take them back down where you tied your knot and then out somewhere. I'm going to go straight to the bottom. Um, pull it if you need to get that last knot in there. I don't know which one it is. And then cut that off. Then we'll do the other side. So again, you're going to count down to your 13th row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and you're going to go between 13 and 14, and I'm just going to double check that I'm at the right row, and I'm not. I'm going to go up one more. It's because the way we um, go in the round, one side sometimes higher. Let's have a look, see if you want it in that stitch or the next, and I'm happy there. And then you're just going to go back one stitch. Oh, also make sure that both sides you have the same front or back. So you don't want to put the other one with the back facing unless you want both backs facing. Sorry, I should have mentioned that to begin with. Hopefully you were lucky like me and both the fronts are facing. And 
then you're just going to go one stitch down with that other one making sure that they're um, fairly even Pull those knots through if you can. My one knot doesn't want to go through great, but oh, there it went. Give them a tie once or twice. And then get those ends back on your needle so you can thread them out the bottom. Make sure you go in the same hole that they came out of so that they can be hidden down inside. Okay, cut them off. All right, now we're gonna do the hat and I wrote this pattern last year I got so frustrated with snowman proportions, I put it away and I haven't touched it until two days ago. So I've been getting my proportions right till I was happy on the snowman. And I did not write down what I did. So I'm just going by what I had as a stitch marker and we're all going to find out at the same time if I did it right. All right, so start however you prefer to start whether you're doing the magic ring or chaining two, um, remembering just to have the first row the same. And I'm gonna do my knot with the loop on the end. Grab my yarn, pull up and chain one. And remember, if you're doing it this way, that does not count as a stitch. That's just to attach the yarn to the loop. All right, for round one, we're going to do six single crochets into the loop over top of the tail. One, two, three, four, five, and six and I'm not going to pull my tail tight right now because um, I'm going to put our little pom-pom looking thing inside that hole grab a stitch marker if you're using one and for row two we're going to do six single crochets around so one whoopsie not one one, make sure you're going over to the next stitch and not in the same stitch. Two, three, four, five, and six. Row three, we're gonna do six increases. So that is two single crochets in every stitch all the way around. And remember, um, it's gonna start curving really quick on you. Make sure it's um, pointing towards you um, and not um, like this, or you're gonna be doing it inside out. Unless you want to do it inside out, of course. So increase. One and two. Increase. Three and four. Increase. Five and six. Increase seven and eight. Increase nine and ten. Increase 
11 and 12. Row four is just going to be 12 single crochets all the way around. Oops, and it should be getting a little easier. It's getting a little bigger now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Row five, we're going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One and an increase, two and three, four, increased, five and six, seven, Increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, and an increase. 17 and 18. Row 6 is just going to be 18 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And 18. Row 7 is going to be two single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, increase, three and four, five, six, Increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, increase, fifteen and sixteen, seventeen, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Row 8 is just going to be 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of a different stitch for the border. And like I said, I did this a year ago and I have tried this stitch um, on the bottoms of t-shirts um, for my little men. And I think I tried it on the around the edge of a mushroom top and I couldn't get it to look nice. So hopefully, um, what we're going to do is basically a single crochet, but we're going to go backwards. So we're going to start with a slip stitch and there's going to be 24. Um, let's chain one just to give us some space to go backwards. So you're going to go back behind in the previous stitch. No, oh, my stitch marker is in the way. Grab your yarn, pull through and finish that stitch. If you get started okay, you should be able to finish. So now we're going to do our next single crochet back here behind the previous one. So in, grab your yarn, pull up, grab your yarn and go through again into the next stitch. Actually, this is working okay. Yay. So we're just going to keep going around backwards single crochets. And I apologize, I don't know the actual name of this. Just try and keep your tension and go nice and slow till you get all the way around. I have no idea what stitch I'm on, so I'm not going to count these. But as long as you're going one stitch back, your count will be right or close enough. I'm going to have to try this on uh, something else sometime. I don't know why I struggled with. Maybe because I'm thinking I would have had like I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been open like this when I tried it on other stuff so maybe that's why I struggled with it so much but I am happy this is working out and I can share this with you it's always fun to learn something new to the end here and your guess is as good as mine as how I'm going to finish this. Okay so my next stitch is where I slip stitched originally. So I'm going to do, I think we need another backwards crochet in there. I'm just going to flip it around and pick a stitch so there isn't like a, a space in between and I'm going to slip stitch on the back side. Have a look. If you're happy with that, tie it off and I am. And then I didn't make mine um, I didn't sew mine on, but I think a good idea is to sew it on, so leave enough of a tail. You can sew it on. And you can probably just tack it in every, like every few stitches. So when you go to sew it on, you're just going to you can either go in every stitch up and down or you can, you know, tack it on four sides or, or six all the way around. Just make sure your long thread 
is going under and up and then you're going over one stitch and going down and then over and up but worry about that later let's get the top on it all right so grab whatever color you're going to be making your little kind of pom-pom looking thing and i'm going to take about eight inches or so eight or twelve inches give that a cut And then I believe to make the little kind of pom-pom shape, I just went over two or three fingers, starting down here, about six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to cut that. I'm going to lay it across my... Um, thread that I cut. I know this isn't like a real pom-pom but I thought this kind of gave it like a homemade old school kind of look. Then you're just going to tie that first thread you cut over the center. Give it a couple knots. Just kind of floof it a bit. I might have had extra. Maybe it was only five times, but this will work. Grab your darning needle. Thread one end. And you're going to be going and tying it on the back side of this. So all I'm going to do is grab like a little piece um, in my first row and go down through the hole. That's just so it doesn't like pull through or out once you have it finished. Then you're going to do the other thread into there. Same thing, just kind of go on the opposite side that you were just in. So I was in right here, so I'm going to go on this side across. Just grab a stitch and then go down. Now I'm going to tie mine tight on the inside, but it would also maybe look cute if you let it hang. But then I would only have one string there, so you'd have to hide this string somewhere. Maybe even just cut it so it could be part of your pom-pom. And if you're doing like me, we're just going to tie it nice and tight so it won't move around. And then trim whatever in there you don't need. And there we go. Cute. Um, yeah, I do have way too many loops here, but that's okay. I also just realized while I was doing the hat that I didn't remind anybody to put um, some little six millimeter eye buttons in there if they wanted it to look like this. So I will put a little thing um, before we close it up to remind you if you want to do that. And now we're going to start on the face. And I tried to do this a little differently because a lot of you like to watch me put the face on. And a lot of you know what you're doing already or just want to, you know, shut off your YouTube and go sit down and relax. So I'm going to show you the nose and then I'm going to do the rest of the face. So if you want to join me for the face, you can watch and we'll do that together. And then if you um, want to go do that on your own, you can do that as well. Okay, so for the nose, all I did was make a little knot with a loop on the end. Like you were going to chain. Fairly short. So just like this. Um, if my 4.25 uh, hook just kind of fits in there. If you're looking for a size. Then you're going to thread one side. We're going to be attaching this like we did the arms. So you're just going to go, um, that's where you 
put your eyes in. That's where we put your eyes in. You're going to go one row down and you're just going to go on each side of this center stitch and then down. So there's one side. Do the other side. And we're going to go on the other side now and out that same hole that we took our first piece through. Kind of center it a bit. Then we're just going to tie it and thread it out the back. So nice and simple. You can also like make a little chain and slip stitch like you did for the ends of these if you want your nose bigger or if you're doing the plush one, you'll probably want a bigger nose, but I did I did do that for this one and I mean it looks okay but you probably would like a better nose than that. Okay. So we're just going to thread this on and out the back. Oops, I didn't do that right, but it'll work still. So just right down the same hole that you um, tied. Give it a fairly good tug so that you hide the two sides a bit. And then give it a cut. All right, so if you're leaving me right now, Thanks for watching, and I hope if you like this video, you hit the subscribe button. Um, and the rest of you, if you're sticking here with me to finish off the rest, let's grab our mouth color, and we will put that on. Okay, so grab your um, black, probably. And I'm just using a little scrap from something else that I cut off. And our mouth is going to be about four holes wide. So I'm going to be going in this hole, counting over one, two, three, and coming down. So we got two stitches under the nose, and I'm going to go one over. But I'm going to start down underneath so I can tie it away from the mouth. So leave a little bit of a thread for tying. You're going to go over one, two, three, and you're going to come out one row underneath in the center um, between both sides of your mouth. So your mouth is going to look like that. And now we're going to give them a smile and we're going to go up under the mouth, around, and then back through where we um, came out. And then we're going to go under and come out where we first started. So we're basically just going around a stitch, depending on where you started. Then you're gonna pull that down and it'll give them a little bit of a grin. If you're happy with it, you're gonna tie off now, tie a knot, I mean, and then hide that, actually, almost give them a little bow there but no that's not what we're doing okay oh oh I did get them both cool and then just get that out the back somewhere careful not to pull too hard because you don't want to mess up the shape of your mouth Trim that off. Hide that black if you need to. Just kind of get it down into the stuffing. There we go. Oh, he's starting to look cute. You may have to work at this too. There we go, out of the way. All right, grab your cheek color and thread that on your needle.
And we are going to be going here one stitch over from the mouth in the same row, but we're going to start under here somewhere again. Let's start in the center. So the next stitch beside the mouth. Leave some thread to tie it. You're going to go around here twice. So that's one time. And in again will be twice. And you're going to come out over here on the other side. Matching the same thing. One stitch over from the mouth. And then do your two or however many stitches around. So that's once and going back in will be twice. And then I'm going to come out where I started. And then I'm going to again tie that and put it out the back. Fairly loose so you're not pulling on your cheeks. And tighten as you go. And then right out to the back. Somewhere. Gently pull that through. And since I didn't pull that too tight, I'm going to stick this end back in the stuffing so you can't see it. Just maybe double check his cheeks that you didn't pull on them and you can just puff them out a bit with your needle. I just folded his arms like that, not even... It's kind of cute if he was holding something, a little heart, or I don't know, if you can make a snowflake. Now, if you um, want to make your buttons out of yarn, I just came in somewhere in the middle. Pick where you want them. Just kind of make sure they're kind of in the center. I didn't even go here. So if you're going to make your X's, you're just going to crisscross like this, come up here and then go across. Um, I'm just going to make some little tiny round things. So I'm just going to do like we did the cheeks. I'm just going to go around a couple of times so it looks like a button. And I'm going to go down a row or two, even, hopefully. It doesn't look even, but... Maybe I can manipulate it to look even. Oops, sorry. Not seeing that. There. Whoops. I went around one too many times, but then you'll just come where you started and tie that like you did with the cheeks and the mouth. Tie it nice and tight and then out the back. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I forgot. Um... I told you how to put the hat on. Oh, we need the little um, little bow around the neck. So you could do a chain and tie it. I just went simple with a piece of thread that matched my hat. I mean, you probably don't need to see me tie a bow, but let's put it on anyway. 
So obviously you just wrap it around the neck. I put mine kind of to the side. Give it a bit of a tie. You can tie it once or twice. I'm going to tie mine twice. And then give it a little tie. Knitting bow. You'll have to play with this a little bit so they're kind of the same direction and size. When you have it right, give it a nice little tug. I think I'm happy with that. And then I cut mine a bit on the longer side. So they kind of resemble a bit of a scarf hanging down. Don't accidentally cut your, your arm when you do that. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Um, thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. As well, anything you see in the background, I have a video for. Um, I guess take care, be safe, and... Happy crocheting!